Man, what a crazy week it's been. Filled with music, friends, and good times. It started with me having a gig with my solo project and realizing that half of my regular members can't make the gig and the gig is in like three days. I literally thought of calling it off. So I decided to get other people to play only to quickly realize that they can't all rehearse at the same time. What do you do then? I had to rehearse with them separately. First with the drummer and the bass player and then with the guitar player separately. Luckily, it all worked out somehow and we actually sounded really nice, which was a huge relief. I guess when you have talented people in the mix and you beg them to do their homework, and they do, things usually work out. Then, the next day after that, we had a gig with Bob Reynolds and his band, Yannick and Sean Horton. I haven't seen these guys since Europe, and there was a grand piano there, which is like... I don't really bother with being in bands a lot. But this one is really, really special. And I think people are starting to notice Bob and his music. And you know what it means to play this many gigs in Los Angeles, right? It really just means a ton of driving. Driving, 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 driving. I'm happy that in the midst of it all, I found some time to spend quality time with my friends and some of the closer people in my life. And even go to the beach and have a little fun, you know? Malibu, California really is amazing this time of year. <laughs> Another cool thing that happened is a couple days ago, uh, my buddy Greg Spiro put together this awesome recording session. Greg, myself, Mono Neon on bass, and Ronald Bruner Jr. on drums all went to the studio and recorded a bunch of music for you guys that we can't wait for all of you to hear. <laughs> This was a really special recording. These are some of my favorite players. We're gonna be releasing all of it very, very soon. And straight from that recording, I drove all the way across Los Angeles to meet up with my college friend, Michelle Lewis, who's an amazing folk singer songwriter. I had it all, so I, how could I be? This was seriously one of the most detox, soul healing gigs I've had in a really long time. It was a bit of a hectic day having to drive to her gig straight from the session with Greg and Mono and Ronald and them, but it was so worth it. These are my last couple of weeks in Los Angeles before I go on tour with Kamasi Washington and his band. We're gonna go all across Europe and fly all across Asia. I've known Kamasi for probably 10 years now, since the days when he was still just in LA playing local gigs. 
He is now the biggest name in instrumental music around the world and is playing huge places in front of insane amounts of people. And he's taken all of the homies with him and all of the people who grew up with, with him. I haven't really grown up with the guys at the West Coast Get Down, but I've been playing with them a whole lot since the day I moved to Los Angeles. I'm gonna put our touring dates right on the screen. So if we're in your city, come on out and say hello. <laughs> That's it you guys, I'm gonna be vlogging a lot more on this channel and posting a lot more music lessons like I have been. I intend to take you guys with me on tour with Kamasi over the next month and a half. So if you want to join, please hit that subscribe button and that like button and come along with me on this adventure of music and travel and 